so I'm just out today for a really relaxed run, no set distance, just taking my time, taking it easy, test out new shoes, the Hoka 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 Hokey Cokies, One One, One One, One One, Challenger Challenger, ATR Fives. So, however you say it, whatever you want to call it, that's what I'm wearing on my feet. And uh, yeah, a little bit of info. Tried on a couple of different models in the shop. As it turns out, I suit a wide fit in the Hokers, more so than the narrow, if you like, standard fit. I did try on some speed goats. For what I've got planned in 2020 and the terrain that I'll be doing some runs on, I spoke to the man in there and uh, he's very experienced on that particular route and he just said speed goat's just too aggressive for it. Um, you can wear them but uh, you know, if you don't feel comfortable that's a no-go to begin with and then secondly it's not really a suitable shoe despite that people are going in there just basically saying I want the speed goat I've seen a runner online wearing them I need them if the environment doesn't suit the shoe you're basically buying into an idea that's going to work for you and uh, yeah took his advice these shoes felt great in the shop and it feels great at the moment just running on some gravel being on some dirt now heading down to the river see how we get on So I'm reliably informed that the ATR stands for All Terrain, which is kind of cool. I've got the 4x4 Hoka shoes here, and uh, they're feeling really comfortable. No immediate hot spots, no issues that I can sense in either foot. Obviously I'm aware of my right knee, um, so I'm pleased to feel that this shoe is kind on the joints and it just sort of rolls across the terrain really as you can see I'm kind of on some wooded slats at the moment just as we open up into this stunning view Hmm, little situation up here. Uh, got some cows in the path. Now, well, I am certain they are very friendly, but uh, I do not know the ins and outs of cow culture. And there they are. Hmm. I think I'll leave them to it. Free grazing and all that. This is their home. It is not mine. And it's lovely, isn't it? You think, wow, what a beautiful environment back there. But check out the mast. Got to be connected. Got to make sure we stick one of those. Bang in the middle of a probably green belt land. Not sure. Don't know what the deal is here. But anyway, time to shoot back home. Oh, I just made myself laugh. I started looking over my shoulder like this as if uh, I was about to be chased. <laughs> Is that just a human nature thing? You see an animal or you see <laughs> see someone or something and you walk past and you just have a quick look over the shoulder just to make sure you're not being followed. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> just approaching here like a bird lookout point which is really cool. 
disappointed that people have to graffiti things, but you know, human race, peculiar bunch, aren't we? I've actually got a really cool acoustics here. So, for anybody who's sort of interested, my pace today is over six uh, minutes per kilometre. Like I say, I'm just basically. I was coming out for a walk, is what I intended to do, and I just thought, well, if I can move this towards a bit of a jog, that just keeps everything moving along. I just want to loosen up. I've been a little bit stagnant for the last couple of days, and I just think it's nice to have a little test to see. I didn't necessarily even intend to record it, but I started off and I thought, oh, I'll share this, and uh, Obviously, as I was sharing it, I was beginning to break into a little bit of a run and it feels good. So, there we go. There we have it. Lovely nature reserve here. Haven't been here for a little while now. I think one of my first videos I did was with the GoPro and I went a bit hyperlapse crazy on it. But, uh, as you can see, just coming to the tail end of summer now, sadly. But with this kind of mix of rain and heat, all of this foliage is completely blooming. So that was uh, really enjoyable. Nice to just get out and do something at a really relaxed pace, actually. It was comfortable. Um, towards the end, I did four and a half kilometers of running. Towards the end, still got this kind of just slight dull aching sensation in the knee. Um, yeah, it's, it's one of those things where I, not really that I can do about it other than just let it heal in time and let it do its thing. But uh, I was able to get out, which was nice. And it wasn't um, obviously so unbearable that I couldn't run. And yeah, just walking this last bit in now, just taking my time and enjoying the moment enjoying the experience of the run and uh, I think my I don't know average was around about 620 630 per kilometer for four kilometers and that's totally fine it was actually quite nice to get out and do something at a more relaxed pace I know that I hadn't really done enough of that but it is quite nice to do um, I didn't feel like I needed or wanted to push anymore and the most important thing is the shoes performed and uh, I sort of forgot I had them on actually, I forgot they were a new pair of shoes. So this is straight out of the box and um, I'm feeling yeah, nothing, no discomfort at all. No, uh, no hot spots, no sensations that I might have got a blister or anything like that. Sometimes that does happen, especially first run out. Um, and I just feel, yeah, it's a lovely shoe. Really enjoyed running in it and look forward to doing more runs off-road in the shoe in the future. So thanks for tuning in and I will catch up with you soon.